Uh, I'm here today with Johnny Bell. Um, Johnny last year published a book uh, which is selling very well on relationship selling. Uh, what prompted you to write the book, Johnny? Well, uh, one of the f uh, first things that I looked at when in writing the book was that um, I suppose the timing was right for it because it was time uh, for all of us to start rekindling old relationships uh, as the economy started to tighten up. I mean, one of the things that in, when the economy or the tiger was roaring, as they said, that one of the things that uh, people, some companies and people were not maintaining relationships because, well, number one, they didn't uh, have the time because they were uh, busy processing what they already had. And the other reason was that some people and companies didn't realise the importance of it. But that's all changed now. So that's what prompted me to write the book, the book on relationship selling, was a guide to help people to start rekindling those old relationships uh, with their uh, prospective clients uh, and their existing clients. So, uh, Johnny, what is relationship selling? Well, relationship selling is, well, there's three principles of it. It is, first of all, uh, learning how to sell to customers the way they like to buy. And uh, the second principle is looking at finding out what people really want to achieve by using your product or service. Uh, and thirdly is how do you stay in touch with uh, people and organizations uh, personally, consistently and systematically. Uh, years ago when I was introduced to selling, um, the technique that I was introduced to was an old method of selling uh, and it was it was looked very much about you know get the business at all costs. Now I was never a particularly good advocate of it but we only had one product to sell at the time uh, so we knew where we were going. Uh, our questions were very much of a leading nature uh, and we had uh, presentation skills and we were we were taught techniques on how to close the, scale, the sale. Now while it was important and it always is important to find out where we're at and indeed to ask for the business, but the first thing that you got to look at is you know where's the relationship and looking at the trust and rapport that we build and maintain with clients. So relationship selling is those three things. Find out what you know what way they like to be sold to or to do business. Find out really what's important to them. Uh, and one of the things that we look at is to find out how what people do, how they do it, who they do it with, when they do it, and why they do it that way. And once we've got all that, then find out that's finding out what they want to achieve. And hopefully, with your product or service, then you can help them to do it better. Uh, and then, while we all look for people to do business with immediately, uh, some people don't do uh, business immediately, as we find. Uh, so, the the way to maintain the trust and rapport is to stay in touch with people uh, personally. Uh, consistently uh, and systematically. Uh, in the book you deal with four areas in the sales process. Do you want to elaborate? Yeah. When I was writing the book uh, I looked at it that there are four very distinct areas uh, and, and it's all about perfecting, it's making things better uh, with what we do. We all have a, a level of skill uh, so it's to perf continuously perfecting that skill and uh, knowing that perfection sometimes is, is difficult to achieve because things are always getting better. So the first area in perfecting is perfecting how we go about finding our business. Uh, researching the prospective client, how do we go about it, is it through referral, is it through leads, is it through, is it through cold calling. Uh, so it's perfecting that process. That's the first stage. The second stage in the book is where I talk about perfecting the telephone appointment. In order to meet with somebody, it's important that we pick up the phone and make an appointment. So we're perfecting that process of what to say over the phone because that's our first presentation when we're, when we're uh, talking with some, a new prospective client. The third area of perfecting, uh, of perfecting is the face-to-face -face meeting, you know, when we actually get face-to-face. -face. I mean, I'm firmly convinced that when I started in selling, I spent the first 10 minutes selling the product and the next 25 minutes buying it back again by giving too much information uh, and, and not finding out what was, in, as I said earlier, you know, what they do, how they do it, who they do it with, when they do it. So perfecting that face-to-face -face meeting and we have a, a method, a selling method for that. And the final one uh, in perfecting is, the, is what I would call the inner game of selling. Uh, what's going on between our two ears and uh, you know some days that we can be very uh, active and very positive towards picking up the phone or the face-to-face -face meeting uh, and our mind can be our greatest ally but of course it can be our greatest liability as well so really it's very much perfecting that inner that inner game of selling uh, in, in making that better all the time. You mentioned the prosper consultative selling method what's that about? The prosper consultative selling method is one that uh, 
I decided to create uh, from I suppose years of research in looking at how do we find out what's going on in somebody's mind when we meet with them uh, because if we can find out what they do, how they do, the, who they do it with, when they do it, why they do it that way, if we can find out all those things uh, and then help them to do it better by using your product or service uh, then we're in, certainly in a position where we might be able to do business with them. The Prosper Consultant the sell, Selling Method is a, is a technique in order to do that but it's very much based upon you know, that we have the rapport and trust of our prospective client or indeed our existing client uh, and mm -hmm. so it's a questioning skills to find out really what's going on in their minds uh, because we all know our products and we know our services and, but what we don't know uh, is what an individual's, our company's aspirations, goals, ambitions um, are and coupled together with that their doubts, their worries, their concerns. Uh, and so the consultant, the prosper consultant, the selling method allows us really to get down to perfecting that face-to-face -face meeting uh, within the time that we have uh, allocated for that meeting. Well, Johnny, there's loads of books out there on selling. What makes yours different? Well, before I start that, I mean, I probably have to say I probably read a lot of those books over the years because I'm a tireless reader on the whole area of, of selling and particularly maintaining and building relationships because I think that's paramount in all our businesses. Um, what makes the book on relationship selling different? Uh, I would think the, it's 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 a practical guide. Uh, it's not uh, it's not a, a seven hundred page book on academia. It's actually a practical, based upon my own experience and many other people's experience, and bringing all that together to 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 have a, a guide that helps you to pick it up when you need it, put it down when you, when you need it, and also at the back of it there's exercises for for each of the chapters in the book. You can actually use it within. Uh, be it in your business or in a sales meeting or in a training event, but they're exercises that you can use to really help you to implement the skills that uh, are talked to and written about in the book. So what makes it different? It's a practical guide. Right, well, thanks for telling us about that, about all about the book, Johnny. And uh, of course, we have to ask the question of how can you get a copy? Uh, well, there's a couple of ways. I mean, simply if you go to the site, uh, achieve-prosper.com, uh, you can buy it on the site. Uh, also, you could, if you go to the book on relationship selling dot com, you can buy it there as well. And also, it's available on Amazon, Amazon dot com. Uh, you can buy it there. Uh, and if you, but if you want to ring the office, certainly we can have a copy uh, to you overnight uh, in the post. They're the areas that you can buy it.